If you're one of the tens of millions of people around the world who takes that little white pill metformin every day for your blood sugar, I want you to listen closely. Have you ever stopped to wonder, what is this medication really doing inside my body, not just today but over the long run? What happens after one year, three years, or even five years of continuous use? Many of my patients take metformin. It's often the very first drug prescribed for type 2 diabetes, and for good reason. But I've found that many people take it without fully understanding its long-term impact both the incredibly positive effects and the potential hidden risks that you need to be aware of. Today, we're going to have an honest, practical conversation about exactly that. We're going to pull back the curtain on what five years of metformin use looks like. This isn't about scaring you or telling you to stop your medication. This is about empowering you with the knowledge to use this drug safely and effectively for decades to come. Hello, I'm Dr. Frank Maxwell, and welcome back to Diabetes Medic. My mission is to provide you with clear, evidence-based medical information to help you on your health journey. Today, we are doing a deep dive into the most common diabetes medication in the world, metformin. It's a drug I prescribe regularly in my practice, but a prescription should always come with education. My promise to you in this video is to give you a balanced 360-degree view of long-term metformin use. We will celebrate its proven, life-saving benefits, and I will shine a bright light on the crucial long-term side effects that, in my clinical experience, are too often overlooked. You will leave this video as a more informed patient, ready to have a smarter conversation with your own doctor. So, you've been diligently taking your metformin for five years. Let's start with the good news, because there is a lot of it. What are the powerful, positive effects that continue to work in your favor? The powerful benefits that continue. The good news. First, and most obviously, is sustained blood sugar control. Metformin is not a quick-fix drug that fades over time. Its core mechanisms are robust. Five years in, it is still working hard in three key ways. It's reducing the amount of sugar your liver releases into the bloodstream. Think of it as turning down the tap on your body's internal sugar production. It's increasing the insulin sensitivity of your muscle cells, helping them pull sugar out of the blood more effectively. It makes your body's own insulin work better. It slightly decreases the absorption of sugar from the food you eat, like the rice or potatoes in your diet. These effects don't wear off. They provide a stable foundation for your blood sugar management year after year. Second, and this is incredibly important, is proven cardiovascular protection. For years, we've known that diabetes dramatically increases the risk of heart attacks and strokes. This is where metformin truly shines. The landmark UK Prospective Diabetes Study, UKPDS, one of the longest and most important studies ever conducted on diabetes, showed that patients taking metformin had significantly lower rates of heart attacks, strokes, and death from cardiovascular disease compared to those on other medications. This isn't just a theory. It's a proven, life-saving benefit that accrues over the long term. Taking your metformin for five years means you've been actively protecting your heart and blood vessels all that time. Third, there are the exciting potential bonus benefits. Modern science is revealing that metformin might do more than just control blood sugar. There is a lot of exciting research looking into its effects on the fundamental processes of aging. Metformin activates an enzyme called AMPK, which is often called the body's master metabolic switch. By activating AMPK, metformin may help reduce the risk of certain cancers, decrease inflammation, and promote cellular health. While this research is still ongoing, the evidence suggests that the benefits of long-term metformin use might extend far beyond diabetes itself. So the conclusion here is clear. Metformin is a fantastic, time-tested medication with sustained and life-saving benefits. But to be a responsible patient, you also need to know about the other side of the coin. Before we discuss the potential long-term issues that you absolutely need to be aware of, I want to hear from you. In the comments below, please share. How long have you been taking metformin, and what has your personal experience been like? 
your story could help someone else in this community. The Potential Long-Term Side Effects The Watch List Now, let's talk about what you need to watch for. After five years, the initial side effects like stomach upset have usually passed. But one particular issue becomes more and more common, and it is the single most important thing I discuss with my long-term patients. The number one issue, vitamin B12 deficiency. This is, without a doubt, the most significant and underdiagnosed long-term side effect of metformin use. Studies show that up to 30% of long-term users may experience some level of B12 deficiency. Why does this happen? The science shows that metformin interferes with the absorption of vitamin B12 in the final part of your small intestine. It disrupts a calcium-dependent process needed to absorb the vitamin. Over months and years, this small daily disruption can lead to a significant depletion of your body's B12 stores. Why is this a big deal? A lack of B12 is not a minor problem. It can cause serious and sometimes irreversible damage. The symptoms often mimic the complications of diabetes itself, which is why it can be missed. These include peripheral neuropathy, numbness, tingling, or burning sensations in your hands and feet. Many people assume this is just their diabetes getting worse, but it could actually be a treatable B12 deficiency. Anemia, leading to constant fatigue, weakness, and shortness of breath. Cognitive issues, brain fog, memory problems, and confusion. Balance problems and muscle weakness. What you must do. If you've been on metformin for five years, you need to be proactive. Ask your doctor for a blood test to check your vitamin B12 levels. Don't wait for symptoms to appear. This should be a routine annual check. Discuss supplementation. If your levels are low or even borderline, your doctor will likely recommend a B12 supplement, either as a daily tablet or, in severe cases, as an injection. This is a simple, cheap, and effective solution. Eat B12-rich foods. While it can be difficult to overcome the absorption issue with food alone, it's still important. Ensure you're eating enough eggs, beef, and oily fish like salmon and mackerel. Other, less common issues to know. Persistent GI issues. For a small number of people, issues like diarrhea or bloating can persist long-term. If this is you, Talk to your doctor about switching to the extended release, ER or SR version of metformin, which is often much gentler on the stomach. Lactic acidosis. You may have read about this, and it sounds very scary. It's important to know that this is extremely rare. The risk is almost zero in people with normal kidney and liver function. It's primarily a concern for those with severe pre-existing kidney or liver disease, or in situations like acute dehydration or excessive alcohol intake. My final clinical takeaway. So, after five years, what's the verdict? Metformin is an excellent and safe long-term medication for the vast majority of people. Its benefits in controlling blood sugar and protecting your heart are proven and powerful. However, you must be an active partner in your own care. Long-term use comes with the critical responsibility of monitoring for vitamin B12 deficiency. Do not let this go unchecked. And finally, please remember this. Metformin is a powerful tool, but it is not a cure. It does not fix the root cause of type 2 diabetes, which is insulin resistance. It is a shield that protects you and buys you precious time. Time to implement the lifestyle changes the nutrition, the exercise, the stress management that can actually reverse the underlying disease. Use this time wisely. If this balanced look at metformin has been helpful and you want more practical health information to guide you on your journey, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. For today's question, besides medication, what is the one lifestyle change that has helped you the most with your blood sugar? Share your wisdom in the comments. Thank you for joining me today. Now that you understand your medication better, the most powerful thing you can do is improve your diet. 
To get started, I highly recommend you watch the video on the screen right now. The Diabetic and Practical Food Plan I Wish I Knew Earlier. It's the perfect next step. Click on it, and I'll see you over there.